for us. Come, Amen. let's adore Amen. him. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the God who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs, let us hail the Lord. Christ has been born for us. Come, let's adore him. The mighty God is the Lord, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Christ has been born for us. Come, let's adore him. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Christ, Christ has, has been, been born, born for us. us. Come, Come, let's adore him. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Christ has been born for us. Come, let's adore him. For forty years I was weary of these people, and I said, Their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. Then I took an oath in my anger. Never shall they enter my rest. Christ has been born for us. Come, let's adore him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ has been born for us. Come, let's adore him. <coughs> you pray him 940. Lord, for tomorrow and its needs, I do not pray. Keep me, my God, from stain of sin, just for today. Let me both diligently work and duly pray. Let me be kind in word and deed, just for today. Let me be slow to do my will, prompt to obey. Help me to mortify my flesh, just for today. Let me no wrong or idle word, unthinking say. Set thou a seal upon my lips, just for today. And if today my tide of life should ever weigh, give me thy sacrament divine, sweet Lord, today. So for tomorrow and its needs, I do not pray, but keep me, guide me, love me, Lord, just for today. <coughs> awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy. For in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storm of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my name. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions, who devour the sons of men. Their seat are spears and arrows. Yet torn a sharp sword. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps. My soul was bowed down. They dove a pit in my spirit, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing. I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches through the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Awake, lyre and harp, I will, I will awake the dawn. dawn. <coughs> 
Thus says the Lord, my, my people shall, shall be filled with my good things. O nations, hear the word of the Lord. Proclaim it to the far off coasts. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from the overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord, to the corn, the new wine and the oil, to the flocks of sheep and the herds. Their life will be like a watered garden. They will never be weary again. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy and console them and give gladness for grief. The priests I will again feed with plenty and my people shall be filled with my blessings. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thus the says the Lord, my people shall be filled with my good things. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city, God in the midst of his citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced, they saw at once they were astounded. Dismayed, they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of death. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of houses. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk to Zion, walk around it. Count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Wisdom is reflection of eternal light, untarnished mirror of God's active power, image of his goodness. Although alone she can do all, herself unchanging, she makes all things new. In each generation she passes into holy souls, she makes them friends of God and prophets. The Lord has made known our salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has made known our salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. He has revealed his saving power. The Lord has made known our salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has made known our salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. God has visited people and has brought them redemption. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, 
He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has placed Christ the Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from our world. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, so his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like a dawn from on high, he will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God has visited his people, and has brought them redemption. Let us praise Christ who has sent God to be for us the one who is wise, just and holy, our Redeemer. Lord, save us through your birth. Lord of the universe, the shepherd found you in the manger. Save us from selfishness in the way we live. Lord, save us through your birth. You so loved us in the weakness that we came to be our Saviour helped us to respect the dignity of every man and woman. Lord, save us through your birth. You took our nature, but did not sin. Help us to use your gifts as we should. Lord, save us through your birth. You make the church your bride without defect or blemish. Grant that all your faithful may persevere in, in it to the end. Lord, save us through your birth. <clears throat> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God, our Father, since through the human birth of your only Son, you began in us the work of our redemption, keep us firm in faith, and with Christ as the shepherd of our souls, bring us to the glory that you have promised. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safe this day and evermore. Amen. And we now pray for vocations to the priesthood. Eternal Father, we thank, thank you for you every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation of his brothers and sisters. We give, give thanks to those priests who brought to us your word of truth the grace of the sacraments, and above all, the supreme gift of the Holy Eucharist. Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, we ask you to raise up a new and generous vocation to the priesthood in our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them not to be afraid, but to recognize the joy of giving the whole of their lives in love. Through Jesus, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, 